Hey everybody, this is a uh, kind of a how-to video to get to the battery in the Boogie Board Jot 4.5 model. This particular little sketch pad is, uh, is not battery replaceable, it's sold that way. Um, it'll probably last you about two years and then uh, the screen may not just function and the button may not function and it just kind of leaves the... Um, screen in a state that that doesn't change so I did a bunch of searches for maybe a, uh, a secret way to kind of get to the battery in this and I didn't find anything uh, the folks at boogie board were nice enough to send us a new one since they thought we didn't um, get as much life out of it as they expected so I figured uh, no harm and uh, trying to see how to carefully, or in some cases not so carefully, uh, take this apart to see if it's even possible to uh, get some new batteries in here so that you can keep using it. So first thing I did is you'll see, um, it's actually in uh, a little bit of this uh, state of um, disassembly here. But I had to choose uh, kind of a side, but there's no screws, there's no um, apparent seam anywhere on this, except for the boundary of the white, where it meets, uh, in this case, the blue. I think there are different colors of this. So, um, first thing I used was just a real fine flathead screwdriver, and I started to pry up the white, and you can see I actually kind of punch through the white here and that's because as I was getting in there um, I realized that the white is actually um, with adhesive um, uh, glued onto this kind of blue snap-on piece and you can see a circuit board in here in the battery which I'll get to in a bit so once you um, kind of get your your screwdriver under here You've got to kind of keep digging down to get under this little blue plate. And you see right here, there's two clips where it kind of snaps into the base, the blue base here. And once you kind of, I just gently kind of went through, it's got a little adhesive on there too, so it's hard to pry up. But I just kind of work my way around this edge and again this is the edge with the button and I'm just going to call this the, the top of uh, the toy. When you get up here and you pry this back, um, what you'll notice right now is that the screen seems to be kind of uh, opaque and then it reaches the black and I think this is because there's actually a adhesive process for the screen to work and be black and I've actually ruined that on this side of the screen because I've pried it um, back from from the unit itself so I'm going to flip this around so we're kind of looking at it upside down here and the battery just fell out because I left this somewhat disassembled um, so when you get this up what you'll see is a circuit board and it will be sitting kind of flush in here and the battery will be, the reason that you can't replace the battery in here easily is because the battery is actually soldered um, uh, onto these leads that lead to the circuit board. Um, this is the, uh, the button right here. And then uh, I'm actually going to keep disassembling this because these uh, wires here must go to some other part of the unit. Um, it may just go down to the screen to a, maybe another circuit board on the other side of the screen. But basically when you first get this thing apart it will, um, sorry about the video here, battery will be sandwiched in between these leads kind of like that. And what I did is I just kind of gently pried the leads out with the uh, with the flathead screwdriver, and then it 
one point I just had to um, use the needle nose pliers to kind of do a final twist of these leads off the battery. And you can see there's kind of a circular depression where the battery sits in here. And if, I'm not sure if I can get close enough here, but you can kind of see where there's a, just a light touch of solder as they um, soldered that battery onto the circuit board. So in here, just uh, so you can see what's going on, because if you're really trying to do this and save the unit, um, you need to get this up without pulling this um, plastic cover off of the black backing. Um, even when I press on this, it's not making it black again, so I think it's a one-time sort of thing. Um, but again, I'm not really worried about that for this particular thing. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna follow this set of wires around by prying up the rest of this adhesive. I'm just gonna um, work my way around here, and you can see as I'm going around, it's pulling a pulling around the screen. I'm just kind of interested to see what's in here. I'm guessing there'll be another assembly um, I prop this up. So I've kind of worked my way around here. There's a little bit of adhesive in there. The wires are still kind of buried on the side of that black screen. And Okay, so I actually, um, you can see here, this clear plastic cover that's over the screen is actually over this whole white piece. And as I pull it off here, there's another blue clip mechanism here that's similar to the top of the unit. So I'm gonna see if I can pry that out. I'm curious if there's a second battery here um, for some more power. Um, maybe this whole thing's powered by one cell battery, but who knows? So I'm kind of like, this is the same process I used for the other one. I just have this slowly popped out. You can see the, the blue um, part there. So I'm just going to keep kind of prying this up. And of course, I'm completely destroying this unit, but maybe this will help somebody out there uh, figure out a better method. All right, so there is another circuit board here. It's actually uh, looks like it's adhesived on, or maybe, yeah. So it's another little circuit board here at the other end of the screen. There's no battery. Um, so just to show you exactly what's going on here, this is the side I worked on first with the battery, and I work my way around this edge. You can see the screen's mostly done now. And then there's another blue clip plastic that goes into the base here, as well as another circuit board. It's kind of adhesive and onto there. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this all the way apart so you, this is a pretty simple device. Um, so here's the, the base. It's just a really rigid plastic base. It looks like you might be able to pop out this as well. I don't think there's anything under it. Mm, that's, that's probably really adhesive in there. It might, looks like there's a seam there, but I think it's just a rigid plastic base. And then um, this little circular part in the corner is where the battery sits. And uh, this is kind of looking at it with me just pulling off the, uh, the screen like this. 
so pretty simple device. I'm not sure, um, having gone through this, that um, like uh, the company says, that the unit just can't have the battery replaced. Part of that because it's soldered in, but part of it seems to be that they um, have this built in such a way that getting to the battery, even if you could get the same battery in here and re-solder it in, you're going to pull the adhesive off of the screen um, such that it may not really work uh, accurately anymore. And just for reference, this is a um, CR1620 cell battery, uh, 1620H it says. Um, so, um, just because I'm doing this, I might as well go all the way here. Here's the screen attachment. So this is where the uh, circuit board attaches to the screen on the other end. Um, obviously the circuit board with the button uh, controls the kind of erasing of the screen here. So interesting, it's just a flexible black piece of plastic got a little bit of a manufacturing device on here so this obviously has some sort of um, electrical properties that helps um, the screen behave the way it does um, but the other screen here is just another thin piece of flexible plastic and a blue rigid base so anyhow this is obviously not a video to help you um, fix this 4.5 Jot 4.5 model, but uh, if you're like me, you were thinking, gosh, must be a way to get to the battery in here, and there definitely is, but uh, the way it's manufactured is that uh, you can't easily access it without uh, ruining the unit. Um, at least in some way, um, we're obviously not going to use this anymore, but this allows you to pretty easily, I think, recycle. All this must be uh, recyclable plastic and you can dispose of the circuitry and the wires um, with your typical electronic uh, recycling center. Anyhow, I hope that helps. Uh, JOT 4.5 teardown uh, and a JOT 4.5 teardown that leads to a uh, complete death of this unit.